active campaign if else. So in this video, we're going to cover automations inside active campaign and we're going to talk specifically about the if else condition. It's branching logic. In other words, depending on the conditions, a contact will go down one path or another or another. And the big point I want to make about this is I suggest checking for every case. I'll show you what I mean. Let's dive right in. Inside your active campaign account, inside your automation that you want to work with, whenever you see a plus sign, you can add a number of different things. In this case, let's do an if else statement. And then you have to select the condition you want. And in this case, I'm going to say if they have a tag, I want to go down one path. If they have another tag, I want them to go down a different path. Now, on the surface, that sounds like it's just one if-else condition. I'm going to suggest having two. So let's just start with the first one for a tag. And I'm going to use this one, temp A. Now, if they go down, if they come here and they don't have A, they're going to go here. Now, I only want the people to go down this path if they have the temp B tag. So the temp A goes down here, the temp B goes down here. So in theory, this is all you have to do. However, you can't guarantee that somebody has it unless you check for it. So I'm going to do one more if else right here. And I'm going to check specifically for the other tag. So anyone that has the temp A tag goes down here. Anybody that has the temp B tag goes down here. And by default, anyone that goes down here does not have the temp A or temp B tag. So it's more than just doing one if else if you're checking for two conditions. It's basically, you want to do two checks for each condition. That's active campaign if else.